Hello everyone, today I would like to tell you how to use a key shot and how to use a mouth operet. So, um, in my background, I found a document, a background called table, right? I made before. So, just to drag this, drag this background to the scenario. It will show here. So, let's begin with the first materials library. So, if you hated the M key, you're going to see. Sorry. If you hit the M key, and you're going to see a materials library going to show here, and I press again, and the materials library going to just disappear in here, right? And I'm hit again, the materials library come back. The second is short card display. Let's hit the key. So all the short card are going to show in your right side. So you're going to check which which order by use which uh, hot key. Let's hit the key again. It's just a display again. So parameter display. Let's hit the H key. You will see some basic information about scenario and the model going to show you on the left right top corner. Let's hit again. It's display again. Full time screen mode. Let's hit the F key is going to show in full time screen. It's good just to click this, right? So save the view. Let's press P key. It's going to save screenshot to the destination you set before. And the real time display control plus shift plus P is going to pass your scenario render. So let's press again. It's begin to rendering on your system. So open the model, let's hit Control plus L. So if you hit Control plus L, you could open uh, from your local document to input your model to the scenario. And open your environment map, uh, HDIR. What is HDIR? I will explain in um, after lessons, but in this moment, you just to keep in mind, is Control, Control plus E is open the HDIR file to your scenario. Okay, open the background map plus Control plus B. You're going to can input the background in your local laptop. And screenshot I said before is the same. Save the view by hit the P. And rendering is control plus p if you hit it control plus b it's going to begin to render some images okay let's uh uncheck this because this is i set before rendering q so go into the output and hit rendering waiting for a while you could see your scenario begin to rendering we need to waiting for the rendering uh, uh, becomes 100 percent is means totally rendering is finished at this moment just to let us close this window uh, do you want to stop rendering we don't want to um, save it so just the hate stop button is just closed for rent currently uh, render so next is parts and continue rendering is the same as the real-time display control so i don't explain again so next the display l components for examples in this scenario gets the cattle made by a uh, four different parts let's just hate it the part some part one part and two parts so at this moment let us just hate control plus u Okay, this is uh, maybe doesn't work. Control U in my laptop is to see is save the pictures on my queue. Okay, but uh, maybe in other people's laptop, the default sighting when you hit it, Control U is going to display all the components. At this moment, how we can let the two parts we already hide it be showing on the screen. Okay, so if you click right key and show all parts, it's going to show you all parts, right? Okay. So uh, next, rotate the model along the y-axis. Hold the shift, art, and your middle mouse button to rotate the model along the y-axis. It doesn't work on my mouth. 
Oh, it works. I'm on wow. Okay. But it's not too. Okay, you could see. But、uh, maybe my laptop is too slow. Reactions, so you can't see obviously. So rotate the model along the y axis. Shift plus Alt plus your mouth middle button. Next, rotate model freely. Hold Shift, Alt, Control, and middle key. Okay, sometimes it doesn't work on my laptop. But remember, rotate model freely is Shift plus Alt plus Control plus Middle K mouth Middle K. So skill model is Control plus Shift plus Alt plus Right key. This doesn't work again. So just to remember, okay, it works. So but but it's just very slow. So skill model, it's just a、uh, Control plus Shift plus Alt plus Right click. Okay, just to finish this page, let's go into background. Drag the second text on the background. You could see the background just changes. Let's drag this kettle to the right. Right click,、uh, left click your mouse, left K, and drag this kettle to the right side. So level shift, level shift. So shift out plus、uh, left your left mouse. You can see it. I can shift it, right? And vertical movement is Shift Alt Control Plus Left. You take the camera just to left click, and you will rotate the camera. Notice this is not rotate the model because we rotate the camera, so it seems like the model has the rotation. But in fact, it's just to have some opposite of the the perspective of your camera. Okay, parallel movement camera middle mouth key. Hold your middle mouse key, and you could parallel move of the camera, not your model. But it seems like the model also move, but is is not true. Okay, next is move camera back in the forwards. Alt plus right mouse button, Alt plus middle mouse button. Let's try it. So you could zoom in, zoom out your、uh, your camera. Notice this is also not. Do mean zoom out,、uh, not increase, decrease the size of your model. It's just zoom in, zoom out to camera. It seems like the model becomes bigger or smaller. So next, the tilt camera is Control plus Alt plus middle mouse button. It doesn't works on my、uh, laptop, but you could try by your laptop. It's tilt camera, Control plus Alt plus middle mouse key. And next, choose the materials Shift. Plus left mouse button. That means if in default I have a、uh, if in the scenario I have a different kettles. I just um okay that at this moment uh go to the same and your model is this model right. Right-click this and hit duplicate it. Like you're gonna duplicate it another same kettle. Okay, let's enable this too. So two models gonna show you on this thing, but it's overlapping each other. How I can move them? So、um, right-click the default one. You're gonna hit it move and move. Your mouth, drag this blue arrows, and in here, just place check the OK, and then 
on your materials, let's give a aluminum on the first model. You're gonna see this glass kettle become a metal kettles. So at this moment, let us hold the shift K and click this, click your left mouse button on these on these objects. And then if you want to copy these materials to another object, just move your mouse to the another object surface and hold the shift key at this moment and at the same time hit your right mouth button. You could see is copy these materials to another materials, another object is very quickly. Okay, let's hit control V go back. Okay, the next is, okay, let's move the model to not hate it, not hate it, this text hates OK. So edit the materials on your model is double click left of mouth. So if uh, I double click, double click on these materials, you could see the materials already showing on the right side and you could modify it. And let's give it a right glasses. Hit OK. There's different between these two kettles. And next is add just ambient brightness by up down arrow on your left and right arrows. You could see in my keyboard, let's just hit it the up down arrow or left and right arrow. So you could add just the brightness, adjust your brightness of your scenario very easily. Okay. Next is environment visible switch is E. Okay, I just display the environment, right? It's become a whatever. It's very weirded background. Let's hit the E again. Nothing happens. So I need to redrag this backgrounds to the same. So at this moment, let's go into the environment. Let's give it a environment. So the scenarios, let's give this to it. So at this moment, if you just, just trying to hold the control and your left mouth button, you could rotate the environment. It's going to reflecting on your model. And next is clear, create the beep file is control plus N. And it's asking you, do you want to save your changes? And to hit to save it, you're going to save a beep file. That means a uh, model is attached to the materials a lot in environment to already set it on this scenario. Okay, guys, today we already finished to introduce uh, some how to key and how to uh, some basic information about how to use the mouse. So, welcome to my next lessons. See you.